In my singing lessons this half term, I've been learning about the mechanics of my voice and why my voice works the way it does and how it creates certain sounds. Um, and that's been really interesting for me um, as I've never really explored anything like that before. Um, and my teacher's just been getting to know my sound in particular and how I sing um, so that she can pick out specific, specific things that I need to work on. Um, so one of these things is that um, I need to try and cancel out um, a lot of breath in between phrases. So I will take a lot of breath in but then I will start breathing out during the phrases rather than just um, breathing out and in after each phrase which causes me to get more of a breathy tone. So we've been trying to combat that by using sounds such as the sert, ver, sh sounds and singing the melody line with those sounds before um, going back to the original words and I think that's been quite a helpful technique and over time I think that's going to improve the tone of my voice significantly. Um, and then in terms of pieces, my teacher's gone back to the grade 4 book um, as I'd started grade 5 with my previous teacher but we've gone back to grade, some grade 4 pieces um, just to work on sound and technique a bit more um, so one of the pieces that I've been doing is Silent Worship by Handel so I will just sing a small section of that for you now And then um, I've also started to look at a grade five piece very recently, now that we've moved from the grade four book to the grade five book. Um, and I've just been looking at my A piece, which is from The Marriage of Figaro, and it is Lo Perduta Me Mesquina. So I will just sing a small section of this for you as well. So as you can see I do get quite a lot of breath into my phrases and I can get quite a breathy tone but I am working on it and I'm practicing it a lot and I'm hoping with a lot more work I can get a more clearer sound. So yeah and I'm going to be looking at another grade 5 piece, my B piece next half term which is Una Palomita Blanca. So it's a Spanish piece and it's very nice, so yeah, that's all.